All right, now we're actually gonna be talking about one of my favorite stretches, especially for cooling down after a workout. Um, one of the things about kind of your, your static or your post cool down stretch, um, a lot of people like to skip it because it kind of feels like, all right, I just worked out for an hour, I gotta get out of here. Um, and it really can hold a lot of people back. So one of the things about this, the bretzel is it's so, so efficient because you're really stretching one side of your body all the way across to the other. Um, similar to kind of some of the stick mobility stuff that we have on there, but with this, you don't really need the stick. Um, so it's a really good kind of uh, move for anybody anywhere. So first and foremost, it's one of those other ones that you're gonna really feel asymmetrical. So for example, if you put a pitcher in this one side, he's gonna turn real well, it's gonna be great. Uh, and then the other side, you might even have some like kind of weird feelings going on. So again, always no pinching, nothing like that. On this one, you might get some pinching on the ribs if you're doing it wrong. So it'll probably be needed to regress or be regressed. So there's two different bretzels. Um, what we're gonna show you today is the one that's kind of out of the 90-90. So just like always when we get into the 90-90, what we're looking to have happen is trying to get to here, meaning I'm nice and straight up instead of falling out to the side. If you're not able to really properly get into the 90-90, then this might not really even be for you. It might be a little too advanced, even the first progression. So from the front view, just so you guys can see before I turn to the side, again, I'm nice and tall. This should be relatively straight down or perpendicular to the ground. I don't wanna be out to here. This is really gonna get uncomfortable, especially when we start to turn. If we're already set up in a bad position and you start to turn, things aren't gonna really work out well. You'll feel something that we don't want you to feel. So as I turn to the side, so you guys can see, it's gonna be right here. So we're nice and tall. And again, what we're gonna be able to really stretch is this left butt cheek all the way across to my back right shoulder. So when you get this done really well, you should feel almost a line of tension that spirals across. And another way of thinking about that is really you're kind of stretching out your posterior oblique sling. So just like the 90-90, if we want to really be able to find the stretch in the, in the hip, you'll never find it like this. You'll, you need to absolutely pull that back just like that. So just one more time, you're gonna feel nothing here then I can start to feel a little stretch in my butt. If I go further, I'll feel a little bit more. I like to lean into it a little bit and then start my rotation. So everybody's a little bit different height-wise especially, but if you're around six feet tall or a couple of inches, give or take, I like to start everybody off about a foot away, roughly 10 to 12 inches. Notice that my left hand is in line with my left butt, meaning it's not over here, it's in line. The biggest thing you're gonna see with someone who's really restricted here is they're gonna have a really hard time getting out of this. So this internal rotation of the shoulder is not what we want. We actually want the opposite. So you can think about rotating and even pulling down with that lat a little bit. Now this hand is gonna come across and now I have a huge stretch all the way across. Big deep breaths. When you're in this, what you wanna really try to think about doing is really filling up your ribs, especially laterally. So you think we're really rotating, so you're putting a stretch across the rib cage. So that's where I want you to use your breath from the inside and really be able to expand it. In order to rotate really well through our thoracic, the thoracic also really needs to extend. You can definitely rotate from a neutral or a more flex position too, but you just won't have as much. So what I want you to really try to think about is as you exhale, trying to get longer, thinking about having a big chest also. So progression number two is going to be to just flip your hand over. So you'll notice I just stressed a little bit more external rotation of the shoulder. And now that I do that, I'm really winding up my right lat. So I can really feel that stretch increase. If you see yourself start to get pulled, maybe your fingers come off the ground, try to press the hand into the ground and even rotate more. If I get this hand this way, I can change the, the little bit of the feeling of the stretch. That's an option too. The last progression is going to be to actually take this hand and we're gonna actually put it all the way under. So if you can stay here, you definitely are turning pretty well in this direction. Make sure you have no pinching in the front of the hip, especially on the left side. You're trying to stay tall. 
Now within that third progression, I guess I could technically even call this progression number four, you can start to lean to the right. As you lean to the right, make sure you don't bend your left arm and think about turning your rib cage to the left. So I can hang out here, two minutes, nice big deep breaths. Again, really focus on expanding the rib cage. You should feel no pinching. Take your time to set yourself up properly. Make sure that you're in a good position to start. So that way when you actually start turning, you're not messed up. You don't have your ribs flipped to one way or the other. You really want to be nice and long and rotate, not so much side bend. So really try to stay away from any lateral flexion of the spine. It's really a lot of side bending. And then even that progression number four, if you really think about it, it's actually more of almost a hip hinge. So you're kind of leaning into it, not turning and bending to the side. You're rotating and hinging. So give that a try. I suggest doing it for two minutes. After that, switch sides, do the other side, and you're really gonna get a good, do a really efficient job of cooling down after and stretching your body from one side to the other. Instead of having to do pigeon, then to have to do some sort of lat stretch so you can condense those in the same thing and really get a lot out of it. Let me know if you have any questions below and I hope you guys have a great day.